So let's start with an introduction. Parvi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, Kajal, for having me on your channel. Um, so It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, I'm a software engineer um, in robotics infrastructure team at Motional. Um, I have uh, my background in electrical engineering. And um, I moved to the U.S. in 2019 to pursue my master's in robotics engineering. Uh, so, yeah, I graduated in uh, May 2021. And since then, I'm working for Moshna. Oh, nice. So can you tell us what inspired you to pursue the field of robotics? Oh, that's an interesting question. And unlike other uh, Many other roboticists, I don't have like a very fancy inspiration story. That's but fun. yeah, I, I did go through a journey that uh, kind of led me to choose robotics. So yeah, um, I while I was doing my undergrad in electrical engineering, I did a bunch of uh, like, you know, simple automation projects, you know, just like you using Arduino board and some very basic sensors to just, you know, light up an LED and that would be, that would look very cool to me at that time. So I was like, okay, this is interesting. And um, I think by the end of my undergrad, I realized a number of things. Uh, first was I did not like any of my electrical engineering courses, like power systems, electrical machines and all those things. And also I, I realized that I have an interest in automation. And third thing that I realized was um, I need to have more uh, experience with coding. Uh, so I was fortunate to uh, get a job at Tata Consultancy Services. And I worked there for, I think about a year and a half as a software developer. And that gave me a good understanding of how the production level code works. And I think at that time, I I decided that, okay, I want to pursue my master's. And uh, yeah, I was just looking through a number of options and definitely robotics was something which uh, I, I liked even when I was uh, in my undergrad. And just the idea of, uh, you know, like writing a piece of code and interacting with hardware was uh, very interesting. So that's how I got into robotics and pursued my, pursued my master's. I think that's a great story. And as you said, a lot of us go through college thinking one thing and then realizing, okay, this is what I don't like and this is what I like. And that's a great way sometimes to figure out what you like. You should explore. And then once you figure it out, go ahead and exploit. Yeah, that's that's very true. And especially during undergrad, a lot of us don't really know what we want to do. It's It's like you try different things and then you choose, okay, Maybe this is something I can do. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. All right. I want to switch gears a little bit. And I want to talk about an internship you did during your master's. You worked with MathWorks, which is part of MATLAB. And can, sorry, it's the other way around. MATLAB, which is part a, of MathWorks. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the internship? Let's start with how you got this internship. Okay, sure. So yeah, as you mentioned, uh, MathWorks is the creator of MATLAB and also Simulink. And both these tools are used heavily in, in almost all of all industries, I would say, from aerospace to robotics to medical to, I mean, you name it, and then they have their customers everywhere. So yeah, about uh, my internship, um, I started the process of applying and editing my resume, I think by the end of first semester of my uh, master's, that, that was somewhere around November or December. So yeah, um, I actually would like to uh, emphasize that having a good alumni network and also uh, keeping in touch with them is really good because I applied to a number of companies through referral and for MathWorks specifically, um, I got an interview call because I applied through an employee referral program. So yeah, after that, the process was pretty um, standard. Um, I actually got this internship in uh, one of their programs called uh, Engineering Development Group. It's uh, more like an entry-level program for uh, fresh graduates. So yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, they hire fresh graduates for internship and also for software engineering roles. So yeah, the process was uh, like very standard. Like they, gave, they sent me a take home coding challenge 
And then there was a technical round where they asked me a number of questions about C++, Python. And there was one small domain specific round. So yeah, that was the second round. And then there was a behavioral round, which is also, uh, the questions are pretty standard. Like uh, they would ask why I want to join MathWorks, what I know about the role and some situation-based questions, which are, which usually relate to a person's uh, past work experience. So yeah, that was behavioral. And then I had a very small HR round and I got an awful letter, I think um, within a week after that. So, yeah. Nice. Well, you firstly gave a very good tip, you know, make sure you reach out to your alumni and kind of yeah. maintain that network. So when you need the help, they're happy to refer you. And exactly. it also helps you, you know, kind of get that first interview call. And then it's on you to kind of crack that interview. Yeah. And, and even uh, there are cases when there are no openings in some company, but then your alumni network, if you are in, again, if you're in touch with them, they can guide you. Like, you know, there might be a role in this team, just reach out to this hiring manager. And that also helps a lot. So yeah, that's true. Connecting with yeah, that's very true. Sometimes not every listing is on their website or sometimes yeah. something that you wouldn't see because you didn't search for the specific word but they might know because they're part of the company or they are friends with someone from the other team yeah that's true yeah I also want to touch a little bit about on what your internship was like can you tell us about the project you worked on and some yeah. of the other things yeah sure so there is also a very interesting uh, story about my project my internship project so um, as i mentioned <laughs> yeah sure so uh, as i mentioned the edg uh, the engineering development group it's uh, it's a very generic kind of role and as mathworks has uh, i think over 100 toolboxes in uh, which are specific to different industries um, so the people or the interns in edg group they they are not guaranteed to get a project in their domain it will depend on maybe the intern's past experience or the business needs of the company. So when I got my project, this was this all happened uh, before I joined as an intern. It was just right after the offer. So they gave me a project in some web development team, which was definitely not something I wanted to do. So, and they also gave me like an extension of internship from three to six months if I took the web development um, Job, yeah, project. project but then it, it actually took me a lot of courage to communicate to my hiring manager that um i i really want to do a robotics uh, project and please please connect me with the right people and i just want to do robotics only so uh, it took me quite some time a number of emails went through and they finally connected me with the robotics team and i got a project with them so yeah i mean i would say um I, I learned one thing through this that it's always good to um, ask for what you want and that's one way to get it so yeah it's um, that was my story about the project and uh, my project was really very interesting so uh, they have this uh, robotic system toolbox uh, which uh, I think it mostly uh, has all these algorithms kinematics dynamics and everything related to manipulator arms okay. so my project uh, so when i joined uh, as an intern in that team they only had one motion planning algorithm for arm to move from point a to point b so my uh, goal of the project was to write two different um, sets of algorithms for the same task and compare those two with their existing one so i implemented uh, probabilistic roadmaps and anytime repairing a star and compared these two against their rrt planner so it was amazing i mean i did not have experience uh, with writing motion planning algorithms for manipulators because i always did it for mobile robots so this was very new yeah. uh, like working with hired off robots yeah. it was amazing i i learned a lot on the during the time of my internship that's really amazing and firstly you know congratulations and i'm so glad you told us that story because that does happen when you are working with a recruiter firstly you're in that pressure to find an internship and then when you being in a new country it's a lot of courage to say that hey you know i appreciate this but what i want to do is this so firstly yeah. congratulations on doing that and also sharing that so you know for those who are listening out i know it can be tricky 
but try recruiters are on your side they also want to bring in a person that fits the role they don't like if they hire someone and then they leave even as yeah. an intern so try and communicate with them it might be a little difficult but it can lead to something that you want to do that's that's very true and it happens like we sometimes feel a little nervous or we feel like what if i lo- lose the job or we get all these kinds of negative thoughts but yeah communicating is the key and i think people listen here uh, they they understand they value time and they value they respect your interest i believe so so the next question i actually wanted to ask you was do you think matlab is used in the industry when it comes to robotics um yes it is it is used heavily uh they have uh, of course i can't talk about their customers but they have a very like a huge base of customers um i think across all of the robotics domains like be it uh, manipulators or mobile robots or even automated driving companies use matlab internally they um, like from what i have seen people use it for testing their algorithms and trying out different things uh, on the matlab and simulating environment yeah i would agree with that even in my personal experience i've seen companies especially when as you said you know during simulation internally they use matlab more and then sometimes eventually when they want to put that out in the production they will switch it up to c++ or python yeah and uh, just to add to this uh, matlab sure. also has a feature of exporting uh, their matlab code into c++ so they call it code generation or something so yeah you can just uh, just by just by clicking some uh, just by using their ui you can simply um, j- just switch your matlab code to c++ so that's that's great that they are that is offer. amazing i didn't know about that feature thank you for sharing yeah